Hello, welcome back. True Score Gaming back with another SnowRunner video. Today we're going to start a new series, a completely new playthrough on hard mode, which was just added in the last phase. As you can see on this account in year one, I just managed to complete 41% of the game. So now that we know a whole nother year of content is on its way, I'm going to challenge myself to complete 100% of the game on hard mode. Hopefully this will be entertaining enough for the SnowRunner vets and educational for all the new players from Steam and Nintendo Switch. I've seen many people make the attempt and fail. I think it's completely possible to get through the whole game on hard mode. It's just going to take a lot longer than normal. Let's lay out some basic ground rules first. Number one, this entire playthrough will be done without using any mods. Number two, as soon as I get stuck and cannot progress any further, that will end the series. Number three, I know some people are going completely hardcore and deleting free cargo and trailers, but not me. I will use everything that is available to me on each map. Besides the limits imposed on the game with the added expense to everything, the limit on attempts for contests will probably be the biggest obstacle, so we'll have to remember to not attempt any contests until fully prepared. I plan on keeping at least one of every vehicle, and will only sell something if I really need to. That's pretty much it, the rest I'll figure out as we progress. I've been playing SnowRunner for over a year now, so I've picked up quite a bit of experience, which will be applied here. Remembering back to when I first started, having never played MudRunner, I remember just how difficult everything was even on normal mode. So hard mode can be quite challenging, especially to newer players. I recently made a quick start guide for hard mode and I'm basically following that guide now by getting the fleet star operational for free by utilizing the service trailer right outside the garage. I'm going to park that trailer right behind my garage so that in the event I ever need to recover, the service trailer will be right outside the door. The plan for now is to have the service trailer available to get all of the free vehicles in Black River operational before we move on to the next area. The first upgrade here should be for the Fleet Star, and it's the all-wheel drive upgrade, which makes this the best truck on the map so far. There's a GMC MH9500 to be discovered, but upgrades for that are scattered throughout multiple regions, while most of the Fleet Star's upgrades can be found right in Michigan. The Fleet Star's completely trashed, so we need to winch it close enough to the trailer so that after we switch vehicles, the trailer can be attached allowing us to make the repair. You should get the idea, so I'm going to speed this up a little. Now that the trailer is attached, we can make all the repairs and we can refuel by taking the gas from our pickup truck for now. Now that the Fleet Star is repaired, we're going to take the service trailer behind the garage. From here, we will be picking up a nearby fuel trailer and parking that behind the garage as well. That way, if anything drastic should happen, we can recover back to the garage and have the ability to repair and refuel our vehicle. But before we head out from this parking lot, there's a contract we can complete along the way for some easy XP and cash. Farming Tools is a contract for Husky forwarding. We just have to move this curtain trailer to the farm. Simple. So simple that I forgot to go back to the garage to equip the all-wheel drive upgrade we just picked up for the fleet start. That's okay though, we shouldn't need it on this trip. Early on in hard mode, you should focus on easy contracts and tasks. Visit all the watchtowers and pick up all the upgrades, and work on upgrading only a few vehicles at a time. If you've played SnowRunner before, you know just how much of a difference upgrades can make. You can waste a lot of time trying to complete tasks and contracts with vehicles that are lacking upgrades. The game will get much easier after you have reached higher ranks where you can unlock better tires for off-road, mud, and chained. For scouts, these perks begin at rank 7, and for trucks, it's ranks 8 to 12. 
With that being said, I did not spend a lot of time here in Black River. I visited all the watchtowers, unlocked all the tasks, picked up all the upgrades and rescued all the free vehicles. I took the sideboard bed add-on off of the GMC and installed it on the Fleet Star, and then I purchased the crane and off-road gearbox upgrade, which set me back a few bucks. To offset these costs, I completed farming tools and wet harvest contracts using some materials that I found on the map. I also completed some of the nearby tasks like drowned scout truck, wooden bridge, and the place beyond the spruces. Since we will be heading to Smithville Dam next, I also did the rock slide task using the cargo found in the trailer near the town. In hard mode, nothing has changed with the driving difficulty, so it's just a matter of getting through the game with limited resources and applying the knowledge you learned from playing normal mode. While this is a bit disappointing, as you actually play through it, you begin to appreciate the game a bit more in my opinion. Just taking away the ability to change the time has really changed my experience. I would normally always set the time to afternoon as that's when there's the best sunlight, but I missed that on the whole experience. I never saw the Michigan Wolf everyone was talking about until I was forced to play at night on hard mode. In addition, you'll also have to use strategy for which maps to visit, which vehicles to upgrade or sell, and that is what the focus of this series will be. It will take a long time to reach our goal of completing the game 100% on hard mode, but I will keep at it with your support. So make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to keep the series going. At the end of each video, I will post a recap of everything so that it's easy for you to follow along, which is what I leave you with now.